Tyler, do you have a second? What just happened out there between you and Wayne DeWayne? What just happened between me and Wayne DeWayne, I have no idea. Me and Wayne have been up and down these roads in professional wrestling together. We have been best friends since the day we met. And what he did tonight, he doesn't know what he's got coming back at him. Next week, Wayne to Wayne, it'll be you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, we're good friends, but we'll be better enemies. level and then you just outgrow that other person because you're moving to bigger and better things. There have been times we've all had fights as friends. When you, you know we've always had that one friend where they stuck their nose in their business. They were trying to ride our coattails. They were dragging us down. Tyler St. John was trying to drag Wayne DeWayne down with him. Who sees Wayne DeWayne going and challenging Bobby Lashley? Who sees Wayne DeWayne shooting for the sky, aiming for Bobby Lashley, aiming for the main event, aiming for gold, and Tyler St. John is jealous. like he did last week when he spit in the face of his best friend. And as you mentioned, there's been no contact between these two men in the in the whole week. The whole week. Can you just imagine what Tyler Cintron is going through in the inside? The heartbreak, the heartache, the confusion in his mind. What went wrong? And just, unfortunately, he doesn't get it. He just does not get it. The only man Tyler Cintron should be mad at is himself. He just, he needs to get a clue. Wayne DeWayne has moved on from their friendship. He needs to do the same. I did not see that at all. What I saw was Wayne DeWayne trying to help Tyler Cintron knock some sense into him. He was, trying to, he was trying to help knock some sense into him, and Tyler Cintron laid his hands on Wayne DeWayne. Wayne DeWayne does not want to win by count out. I 
Nick Wayne Ruiz is the type of guy that will win by any means necessary. Still post. Oh. Once again, driving him into that still post. Oh my goodness, that has to hurt the back. Hey, look at his head hitting the back of the post. That's gonna get him back here. Get him back here. Get him back here. Get him back here. Uh oh. Wayne DeWayne and Tyler Sitchuk. Oh! Right on the broadcast table. My goodness. Look at this ruthless aggression by Wayne DeWayne. This is over the top aggression. This is Wayne DeWayne absolutely being obsessed. Seven! I know Tyler Sitchuk's head almost broke our laptop. Look at that, Wayne Wayne just tossing him over like he's a piece of trash. But once again, Tyler Sintron displaying his heart. He does not give up. That yeah, Wayne Wayne oh, looks like a camel clutch right here. Oh, wow. And what does the camel clutch do, Lucas? What about that neck and that chin region? That, that can't feel good either. Still has some fight in <laughs> But Wayne Wayne once again takes the bad. I tell you what, Wayne Wayne has been on the road. He's been through both members of the bodies. And now he's going to the back suplex with the bridge. No. Only gets a two count. Impressive suplex, but a more impressive kick out by Wayne Wayne. I tell you what, this, this crowd, this crowd is definitely been behind Tyler Cinch on this whole match. Oh. Wayne Dwayne has been working that back the whole match. Outside of the ring, it gets the post, the camel clutch, and now this maneuver right here in the middle of the ring. Wayne to Wayne right there. My goodness. Oh, and the elbow. And the second elbow. Right back to the back is Wayne to Wayne. Look at that. I, just look how Wayne to Wayne just stalks over him like he's prey. Yeah. You can hear both men breathing. They're getting it all here. Look at, look at Wayne to Wayne's face. He's a completely different individual. He is totally accepted with facing Bobby Lashley. There he goes for the cover with that power slam. Oh! I tell you what, this crowd has been hot this whole night. I can barely even hear myself in the headset. It's been a lot of brawling. We've seen some wrestling moves in between. Oh! Oh! In the extremities. Oh! 
Oh, man. Need, neither one of these gentlemen have kids, and neither one of them can look forward to having them anytime soon. Can you imagine having your head there? I think that was delivered by Tyler Cintron. That was a deliberate headbutt. Oh. They're, they're trading right hands right now, Lucas. And the crowd cheering when Cintron lands. But when Wade hits, they burn. Oh. Back to that. Groin region. Oh, power slam. Oh, boy. Almost. Oh, Tyler Cinch, the momentum is definitely shifted towards Tyler Cintron. I'll tell you what, these, these two gentlemen have been battling it out for more than 15 minutes. I don't care how you feel about Wayne Wayne, you've got to give it up for him. Both these gentlemen giving it their all here. There's a spine buster out of nowhere. Terrible. Just when you think Tyler Cintron has got this match tied up, ready to wrap it up, Wayne DeWayne makes a comeback. Come on, Cintron! Get himself ready. What is he getting ready for? Is he getting for that huge, that huge clothesline? But Cintron is struggling to get to his feet right now. He's grabbing the ropes. He's in the corner. He is signaling for Wayne DeWayne to come to him. Is this man nuts? This is a crazy man who are asking for it. Get up! Do it! Get up! Do it! Get up! What is going on? Oh! Oh! Poke to the eye there. Get up! Get up! Get up! Line. By way the way, is this going to be enough? He rolls him up. One, two, three. My goodness, that's the most recent close line in professional wrestling tonight. What a lethal close line. He almost knocked the head off of his shoulders. My goodness. The, the battle of best friends is over. Your winner, the superior, superior friend. Wayne Dwayne, and he's just slapping him right now.